We've been working a lot with Amy and Pete and now it's just easy to get up in front of a lot of people. They're fun, um, you're, at, you're active most of the time. Uh, yeah, there's heaps of things about it. Big value, I suppose, is the fact that it's um, giving our kids experience with arts and drama and dance, you know, sort of aspects um, that they wouldn't normally get due to, you know, lack of access to specialist arts teachers. Even when they're not performing or they're not involved in the project directly, they're still in th more enthusiastic and confident in everyday school life. Um, well I had a chat to Peter and Amy yesterday and they were saying that the kids here were really genuinely focused and I think that that will transfer over into the classroom. I have have spoken to a couple of the other teachers and they've said that those kids seem to be a lot more settled. Some of our Indigenous students have developed a greater self-confidence. One particular little girl who is very shy and would back away from a lot of oral presentations in the past, she's actually part of our core group who are part of this cultural fusion activity and she's really excited every time we, we have their rehearsals for their sessions. She willingly goes. Um, but these kids are coming back with their scripts saying I've learnt this much and I've learnt this, this line and here's my line and I've gone home and you know just that enthusiasm and taking it on board and doing it themselves not having to be you know really asked to take their script home and learn it.